In bold faced questions, it is crucial that you first establish the relationship between each bold part and the conclusion of the argument. So let's see how each is related to the conclusion. The conclusion is this part that the campaign is likely to give surprising results. So the campaign is going to be successful. That is the conclusion. How is this related? So see, the argument started with this. This is someone's opinion that this campaign has caught the imagination of the world. This is someone's opinion. And the implication of this, the implication of this instance is what the argument analyzes. So the conclusion, how it is linked, it gives the implication of this particular instance. How is the second part related? See, this is not an evidence. Evidence would be this part. You know, an example has been given. This is again someone's opinion. So this is an opinion which supports the conclusion. So with this bit of background work done, now I will move to answer choices. Please remember in the bold face questions, never come to the answer choices first. Always have this reasoning done, otherwise the answer choices will confuse you. In fact, in most of the CR questions, it is good to have some bit of thought process. Have an idea of what you're going to look for in the answer choices before moving to the answer choices. In sentence collection, it is okay to just come to the answer choices and start using them to help you. But in critical reasoning, it is very important to have some thought process beforehand. First is the main conclusion, just not correct. The main conclusion is here. First is the main conclusion, B also goes. First and second, both are judgments. So, okay, this can be called a judgment because it has caught the imagination of people. This is someone's judgment. This is also a judgment. So, first part is okay, nothing wrong with this. But the first has not been used to support the main conclusion. It is not something that has been said to conclude that this will be successful. This is the main instance which the argument seeks to analyze and then this conclusion is reached. This has not been said to support the conclusion. So the second part is not correct. The second one definitely supports. The first one is not for supporting. The first one just plays the role of a topic that has to be explained in simple words. So this is not the right answer. Quite a few students would choose this, but this is a trap. So see, just what I was saying that this is something, this is a topic which is being analyzed. So this is a claim whose implications are at issue. So the first part is just bang on. Just This is exactly what the role of the first part is. It is a claim. Yes, it can be called a claim because it says it has caught the imagination of people. Some may think that it has not caught the imagination of people. Therefore, it is a claim. It is not a pure play accepted fact as such. So the claim is a good word here. The second is a judgment. Again, this is a judgment that impossible targets have been achieved out of slogans. It is someone's personal opinion or judgment. It is not an accepted fact worldwide. A few may disagree with this, you know. So second is a judgment. Judgment is a good word. These buzzwords are what help you a lot in eliminating the answer choices on the bold faced questions. Very important to understand the difference. Judgment, claim, these can be called the judgment and claim. But if this had been called an evidence, then this would not be a good answer choice. So D is a very good answer choice, should stay. Option E, finding. Okay, this can be called a finding also. This is not a deal breaker, although claim is a better word. Finding is not a deal breaker as such. So I cannot eliminate because of the first half. Let's look at the second half. The second is an intermediate conclusion. This is not a conclusion. Conclusion is something that comes out of reasoning. This is just someone's standalone opinion. So something has been derived out of this. This cannot be called an intermediate conclusion. Just not correct. It, it supports the main conclusion, but it is not an intermediate conclusion. Option E can also be eliminated. D is the right answer choice.